that I was gonna be playing. And so, um, you know, what what kind of emotions were, were going through your mind when you were, you realized you were getting your first start? Uh, it was kind of mind blowing, but uh, I just I just took it and did what the coaches told me and did the best of my ability. What did your family say when you told them? Uh, I actually tried to avoid it because I was kind of nervous. <laughs> I told my brother and he kind of told my mom, and she just asked for tickets. So. Yeah. <laughs> So now that that game is, you know, is behind you, um, you know, what did you think about how you were able to, to, to maneuver through those things? Uh, I, I think I've played pretty well, but uh, there's obviously a lot, a lot I could improve on. And again, I had really great players by me. Johnny Wilson helped me a lot. Uh, one of the best players uh, on the team. And then we had Shuba running through people. So, I mean. So what, what, what advice um, did, did Johnny Wilson give you in, in, in particular? Well, he just was there. I mean, whenever you have a great player right there beside you, uh, it's really uh, makes you feel better, feel more confident about yourself if you have a great player right beside you uh, helping you. And I know I trust him, and so he put a lot of trust in me too. So, so what, did you feel that, that change was an important one for him, for him to move from center to guard? I think Johnny could play anywhere on the line. I mean, for you, did you think that was more beneficial than if he had been farther down the line, or did that matter? I. I you have to ask Coach Dickie about that. Really <laughs> gotcha. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sure you talked about this earlier, but I mean, how much fun was it getting out there? It was awesome. Uh, I was like a kid in the kindy store. The first time I got out there, I'm like, holy crap, this is K-State. So it was, it was crazy. It was crazy to me. Coach Gundy mentioned, though, the fact that this is the first time since Tuttle. Obviously, it's not Class 4A, 5A football. This was Big 12 football. How, how drastically different was that for you? Well, uh, Dickie really prepared me for it, and um, I had great players around me, and I feel like Coach Glass in the weight room has really prepared for me for it. It is a big d difference, but, I mean, I was ready for it. How much do you think that it helped the fact that it was at, at home instead of having to, to kind of get broken in on the road instead? I really don't know because I haven't played on the road, <laughs> so I'm not sure. What do you expect then? That, because that's going to be your first opportunity this, this possibly this week. Uh, just doing what the coaches tell me, making sure I pick up everything that they throw at me. Just not really worried about the crowd. I mean, if you've been to our practices, we play music louder than anyone can stand it. So I don't think it will be a big change. What was your favorite play to be a part of? Uh, it, I think it would have to be the 80-yard run Chuba had. So what, what was, give, give me kind of your point of view of that play. Uh, I mean, it was just the inside zone. and. I picked up the scraping backer, and then uh, I saw Chuba pass me, and I just kind of let go of my guy. And I just watched him freaking. I was sprinting as fast as I could, and I, I watched him gain like 50 yards on me. So that was kind of crazy. He's a freak. What, what was kind of going through your mind when you first were told that you were going to get to start this past week? I mean, I was obviously nervous, but everyone I talked to just told me I could do it, and it's really uh, gave me a lot of confidence. So. I was nervous, but it wasn't it wasn't crazy. It was manageable. So. How much family and friends did you have show up when, once they've heard that you're going to start? Uh, my mom came and uh, my girlfriend and then two of my friends. So I mean, all four of my tickets. Gundy <laughs> so. mentioned Monday that you have a bit of a mean streak to you. How much does Charlie kind of bring in? He, he always used the term nasty. Do you does your style kind of mesh with his pretty well? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm more trying to mesh with. Charlie style because he's the boss, so we're all just trying to fit his mold. So, but does that uh, that nasty side come yes, out pretty naturally? He, yes, sir. Uh, really, it's just with all the guys and some of the older kids, Marcus and Johnny, really want us all to be nasty like that and to finish blocks and to be the best aligned we can.